Hello again and welcome to another Wine Word Italy review. Today I'm going to review the last two of the series of uh, Tenuto Manzara wines that I was given by Professor Francesco Lambertini. Uh, we've saved the best till last, possibly. First of all, we're going to look at this one here, the Bonzarino Rosso. There's a little play on words here. Any suffix ino in Italy means the little one. Okay, compare that with the name of this one, if you like, it's their flagship wine, the Bonzarone. Any suffix one in Italian means the big one. So there we are, sort of a, a small, maybe they're not shouting about it, uh, this one they're certainly very proud of, and justifiably so. I've got some food to go with it, so without any further ado, let's make a start. First of all then, the Bonzarino Rosso. Okay, it is actually a sparkling red wine. It's an IGT Rosso dell'Emilia. This particular one is a 2009 harvest. Okay, and uh, what's it all about? Well, the idea of producing this particular wine is to give um, a sort of uh, relive the tradition, if you like, of small production wines from the Colli Bolognese area using uh, traditional wine uh, varietals. In this case we've got 60% uh, Barbera and 40% Negretto. Okay, it's re-fermented using the Charmat method which gives a, a lasting sparkling quality um, and it's also left on the leaves for an extended period to sort of soften the wine and to give it a, a pleasant taste. Okay, so it's a, it's a go with anything wine really. Um, goes especially well with traditional dishes from the uh, Emilia region, of course, but you can have this throughout the meal. Today I'm going to try it with some cheese, but before we get on to the food, let's get into the wine, see what it's about. Pop some in here. As I said, it's uh, oh, splendid, splendid colour. Pink, pink to, to very dark pink bubbles coming up there. Okay, now, you can probably see that there, I hope you can. It's beautifully clear, small bubbles forming all around the glass there. Uh, they're not disappearing particularly quickly. They're staying in there thanks to the method of production. I don't know if we can see the surface, probably not, but it's bubbling very nicely. Beautiful colour. It's a kind of uh, ruby red. Again around the edges there you've got a sort of verging to the purple, verging to the the violet kind of colour. Okay, it's on the floor. So uh, let's get the nose in, see what kind of smell we're getting here. Oh, straight away fruit. Very nice, fresh red fruits kind of smell. But it's uh, particularly red. Let me see. Oh, now I'm getting the yes. Dark cherries, black cherries, um, amarena cherries is the uh, the suggestion there. Bit early for cherries yet here in Italy, but uh, one of my favourite fruits, so it's a lovely full cherry smell. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a taste. Chin chin, here we go, Bonzarino Rosso. That's a very clean taste. And with the bubbles in there, that's lively. And the taste is staying there. It's not fading away. It's a good it's a good balance between it's fresh, but there's some sort of interesting flavours in there too. It doesn't so you don't just think, oh yes, glug it down and there it is gone. It's got a nice interesting uh, complexity to the aftertaste. And the fizziness stays as well. It's uh, very nice, light, small bubbles, fizzy as well. Right, let's let's try it. I've got a piece of smoked provolone here. Okay, it's a smoked cheese. It's a soft, fairly creamy cheese. Let's try it with a bit of that. Like I said, it can be uh, 
served really with anything. Apparently it's a very versatile wine. Let's see how this goes. Mm. That's not bad itself. It's soft cheese. It's not a mature, hard kind of cheese. It's fresh, young. With a nice oaky, smoky taste. Let's see how that goes. Should be ideal. Absolutely splendid. Uh, but like I said, it, it's versatile. That's, a, that's the beauty of a wine like this. You're not limited to uh, to what you can enjoy with it. Now I've got it down to uh, about 10 degrees. I put it in the fridge earlier because we are having another wonderfully warm day here in the spring. Um, so uh, it's about the right temperature. The alcohol is not particularly light. It's 12 and a half percent. So don't uh, don't glug buckets for this stuff because you'll fall out of your chair. But it's certainly very pleasant accompaniment to this particular cheese. There it is. Bonzarina Rosso from Tenuta Bonzara. It's a Rosso della Minia 2009. And it's a Barbera 40, uh, 60%, Negretto 40% mix. Frizzante. A splendid but not too heavy wine. 